Greetings and welcome back again to the second episode where we will be doing uh, terrain, flora, fauna, stuff like that, um, and pathways, which I rather enjoy and I'm doing right now. Um, first thing I'm going to do is build up this wall just to give us uh, the correct feel because there's going to be a wall here so we need to know what everything looks like with the wall there otherwise it completely messes with the the space if it's open it won't look like what it is when it's closed so we do that up first before we start um and then i just <clears throat> right now i'm picking what flowers i'm going to use i like to use a mix and i'm going for purple and pink ones the in the name of this back garden area is going to be like a lilac sort of garden area with willows and stuff like that very um i don't know dark feeling ish um, and here I'm working on the path, and I always like to have curving, winding paths. I use the same uh, math as you would for when you're making a circle, right? Um, also, these are still happening, which really sucks. I tried to fix it. I did. I re-downloaded FFmpeg, and that wasn't a problem. Um, it's it's a problem in the actual. Uh, I believe it's a problem with the, with the replay mod itself. So I'll be trying to re-download that. I thought I could fix it, you know, with FFmpeg in some sort of setting, but it turns out it's the mod itself, so there's nothing I can do about it. Um, and they are lasting a while. I did edit them out, though, um, because there were some that lasted, like, minutes. <laughs> uh, so there's a few more cuts in this one. Um, but you see here I put notes uh, whenever I come up with an idea, and I'm thinking of having a bit of a, uh, a graveyard out here in that area. But for now, we're going to come back here and start working on uh, trees and flowers. Um, what do I do first? I can't remember. Oh, yes. Um, I just start working on the flowers, and I'm placing them randomly at first. Um, and then I do a trick where I just place bone meal, and I place all the yellow flowers with one type and all the red ones with another type. And then I go back and sort of, if I see too many of one type, I replace them. Um, so, yeah, and then I... Then I start working on the trees, and um, I sort of place them randomly, sort of, but you know, in places that sort of make sense, because trees don't grow randomly. Uh, they grow in areas, you know, with a decent distance away from other trees, right? Because uh, they need to be a decent distance away from each other, so they just don't, you know, eat each other and uh, take, take each other's water away. So they will grow a distance apart, so it's not completely random. But uh, basically what looks good is what I go with. And I'm going for a bit of a weeping willow, so the, the uh, logs you see kind of hang down at the end there. Basically for these trees, um, I'm branching out uh, three branches and just take them in a sort of an arc. And then, you know, uh, drooping the, the ends. Um, it's hard to describe like the math. Uh, or the way you, you build them, it's sort of, you do need practice and that's probably the best way you can do it. Um, but look at what other people have built and look at your life trees and try to try to replicate it. That's the only suggestion I get. Also, pro tip, um, show some of the logs. And here I'm just adding vines. Uh, show the logs, right? Because in normal trees, all the logs aren't, all the branches aren't covered, right? So I show some of the logs as you can see there. Um, and that differs for the types of trees, but they look better if um, the leaves aren't covering everything, right? You want to be able to see the shape of the tree. And here I'm arching uh, the leaves over the pathway to sort of frame it. Um, the only lessons, uh, well, the major lessons in uh, this episode are going to be like line of sight and sort of how you can block uh, sight in order to add, uh, sort of, in order to add a, uh, a different feeling to the, to the area. Um, sometimes blocking and taking away can add uh, a sense of feeling. Um, blank space can, can be good and uh, blocked out space can be good. Um, you just have to learn what they add and what they take away from in the feeling of the whole map. Um, I put bushes uh, and leaves on, on the bottom of the trees uh, just because I think it looks better. I think it looks better. So I do it, even though it doesn't really make sense, but you can imagine it just like the little bushes growing out from there. Um, and here I, I decide to make a little a little tree that's not fully grown, right? So I use fences um, 
as branches, um, which works out in the end. Um, but I should stop saying, um, I'm really trying, you know. <laughs> um, yeah, see, I did it again. It's just, I'll get better at this, don't worry. So this tree, um, I look at it from the side there, you see I'm looking, and I don't like the way it's blocking the line of sight from the path here. It's sort of, if you're standing on that, uh, that fork there, it completely blocks the path. You couldn't see all the way through. But if I move it over here, as you see I did, you can sort of see the winding of the path there. And that's the, what I'm going for. I want you to see the path, but not quite the end. You can see that the path like goes and it winds, but you can't quite see what's at the end. And that's what I like and that's what I was going for. With the tree other, in the other way, it blocked the path completely. You didn't even know what path was there, so I moved it. Um, and here I'm working on uh, the other trees. Just the same idea. Uh, bit of a root system bigger in the back and three or four branches out um, i'm trying to not block the path here which is why that's such a long branch which uh, it looks okay in the end but i'm going but uh not quite perfect i had to make a few changes to make it fit right the proportions were a bit off uh with that but i really wanted it to to branch over the path like it did so it took some work uh, this one uh, you'll see the change I make to add uh, better proportions in just a second. And you can see the messed up ones. Like, look at that. It looks so long um, and not wide. So the change I make uh, here is to add another branch right there. And I don't like that it touches the ground, so I change that. And that sort of fills it out a bit more. And, uh, ooh, leaves. Ooh, they're shaking. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that fills it out more. And I'm, I'm, I, I like that. That works. And I add more vines, that, which will go down and add a nice atmosphere of greenery sort of overtaken this area. More than it should have, because uh, remember, this is an abandoned library. Um, and here I'm working on another slightly smaller tree. Just trees mostly uh, in this episode completely. <laughs> um, yeah, and I add a bit of logs in the ground root system because this one's a bit smaller it doesn't have that thick thick bottom chunk and I'm, I'm i like the way this feels proud of how it came out especially that there it's sort of um it's a, like a doorway that you don't need to have like a and that's what I'm basically trying to teach you in, in this uh, in this one is framing. Uh, trees and bushes and the landscape can act as doorways uh, in the same way a doorway would. Um, and we spin around here and you see um, I'm adding just a bit of uh, hard soil here. Creates a good feeling. But yeah, it adds... Uh, corridor this is a corridor a corridor of trees just like it would be in a building and you have to remember uh, that you don't need to have a structure to add these doorways and the same principles apply inside a building as outside when it comes to this basically it's the idea and if you can master uh, making nature and trees and for flora and fauna do the same thing as inside a building is out create a feeling and atmosphere um, claustrophobic or very airy which this is a bit more claustrophobic feeling in here you can uh, you can do a lot quite a lot in here um, I'm working on <laughs> uh, world edit commands because I forget I forget how to do them so you'll see me fly back there and start working on that but I am going to put a graveyard here and I wanted it to be podzol and coarse dirt uh, but I, I was too lazy to just place it and I wanted it to be random. So I come back here and you see me trying to figure out the code for Podzol and Coarse Dirt because it was, it was a weird, it was a weird command. It, was, <laughs> it took me a few tries. You know, I got the Podzol and then I changed the second one and it removed the Podzol and it took a bit of work. But I figured it out in the end. Um, yeah. There, you see, <laughs> it took me so many tries, but I finally got it there. Um, and then I just changed all this to that. And that adds a bit of a rougher, uh, grimier feeling as our screen gets grimier. Uh, 
for some reason, these glitches were much worse in this episode. Much worse. But that one wasn't bad. The really bad ones I edited out. Except for one had to stay in because it basically showed a lot. It was like, sadly, it was like a minute. And it it showed a lot. It Those glitches messed with like a big part of this episode. And it's upsetting. Hopefully, it'll be fixed by the next one. I'm going to re-download everything. Basically, I'm going to have to re-download every mod to get an updated version of the camera replay mod and hopefully that'll fix it i don't know if it will but i assume it's the replay mod because it is uh it, it's the re it's not the rendering it's the actual save file of the replay that's that's messed up no matter what i do that this section is messed up another angle another rendering other settings don't work it's like that actual world file of that spot is corrupt so it's there's nothing i can do and here I put in gravestones, which are just basically random, random bits of cobblestone that look sort of like gravestones. You know, uh, it looks good. Uh, a bit of a uh, bloodborne sort of uh, gravestones, where it's like multiple different sizes and really broken, and that was that's the idea. Um, and here I'm gonna work with a bit of a crypt, which will have a doorway eventually. Uh, we'll get to the actual like making a story for this uh, map eventually, but for now I'm just putting in things that could turn into something and making it look good, and I'll have to talk with Kate about the specifics of all the gameplay when it comes to that. That's a while from now, though. Um, and this is the graveyard, and now um, I changed the path block from Quarstit to an actual path block. I think it looks really good, don't you? Um, so this is just the finished product. I'm taking you through the lilac gardens here, and you can totally see the atmosphere is incredible i'm really proud of this <laughs> did that vine just grow it did um but yeah i'm really proud of this this slow walk through here very atmospheric let's just enjoy it for a second over there um, I'm currently making a path around to the front door um, not an official path uh, you know a dirt just a walkway um, not stone brick um, and I am working on the stone brick path but here's where some of the really bad glitches happen and so there's going to be a bit of cutting here um, I spent a lot of time on the trees uh, in this front because I again framing is very important so I spent a lot of time on what size tree I wanted and uh, in the end, I went for a normal size spruce, which I just built a bunch of, you know, bone mealed a bunch of spruce, and then I edited it to make it look good, as you can see here. But I went for the size because I didn't want to block the windows of this library um, without, I didn't want to fully block them. Oh, son. I didn't want to fully block them, um, but I did block them somewhat. Uh, I like that frame and that sort of mystery. You have to get closer if you want to see the whole thing. Uh, it brings the player forward. Um, and that's something I'm good at, something I know how to do. So I spent an inordinate amount of time uh, figuring out what size tree and what type of tree I was going to do. Um, and here I go for a little bit of a, a curved one here, um, which took some time to get the branches right. Um, but basically, you know, if you want to do this, just think of the normal tree and turn it on its side. You have to literally, like, in your head, turn it on its side. Otherwise, the branches will be weird. The branches are going to be, um, as you can see, the, the branches aren't going to be like a normal tree, right? Uh, the ones on top curve upward and the ones on the bottom curve downward. Like everything has to be angled and that was a mistake I made when I first started doing it. Um, the, the branches were uh, horizontal but they, I forgot to curve them and so here I do. And here I'm adding uh, more uh, flora and fauna here. Um, and I'm removing all the flowers and replacing it with uh, the ferns. I'm not sure if I want flowers in this front area, at least uh, very few flowers and I don't want them to be very bright. Uh, just want green out here. The the garden is going to be where all the flowers are. And here, this little path here inside. Almost hidden but clearly seen uh, when the player walks through. And then I add a bunch of tall, double tall uh, grasses and ferns which cover the area and makes you feel claustrophobic in nature but not as claustrophobic as the garden was. 
And because I went with screw shoes, it's clearly cold but not snowing here. Which means I could have areas that snow. And here's where the really bad ones happen, guys. I'm so sorry about this. Uh, but it's important you have to be able to see this. Uh, I'm building a massive oak, as you can see, through the glare of the bad acid trip, which is just coming back to haunt us. Never should have taken that bad acid. It always comes back. <laughs> um, so I'm building a massive oak, and I'm working on that. This does go away eventually, I promise. <laughs> um, but it's really bad in this section. I'm so sorry. But you can see it's important, this massive oak. I can't just skip the building of it. Uh, and you can see through it. Pretty close, though, right? What's up with all the blue? It's actually crazy how this is happening. It actually does look quite cool to look at. Um, but let's focus on the tree for now. <laughs> um, so I'm just figuring out what kind of curve I want. It's going to be a very, very, very large oak tree. And I'm thinking that uh, behind the other side of the river is going to be even more large oak trees. Like um, That way from far off in the city, you won't see the, the library at all. I think it's about to go away. Um, at all, uh, until you get closer. And uh, one large oak over here, which really perfectly perfectly and you can see I'm putting a bit of a curve uh, on all the branches like that uh, makes it look nice uh, sort of like oaks they sort of twist and wind but it, it's going to frame the library perfectly you can see how bad this one is none of the other ones were this bad uh, in the other one but here it goes away. it does come back again it's so upsetting um, but as you can see here yeah I was just saying it, it frames uh, the, the library perfectly very well uh, um, it doesn't cover the front if you're looking at it from the front, and it doesn't cover the side if you're looking at it from the side. But it does sort of block line of sight in a way that uh, it just frames it really well. I, I wish I could describe it better, but I can't. And uh, it, comes, it comes back. Uh, so upsetting. And I'm not just adding small things, just adding decent. And the the leaves. A lot of people have trouble with the make the leaves look good um, as I said uh, you want some depending on the type of tree you want some of the lo logs um, seen through the leaves not covered by leaves and you'll see that I especially do that with this oak and the spruce I did with the spruce um, with the willows I didn't very much because they have a lot of leaves um, this goes away in a few seconds yeah um, you can see I'm showing a lot of the logs the leaves are very sparse as oaks are uh, tend to be um, and the style is just completely different with the weeping willows um, no not with the willows with the spruces I did not cover the ends of the logs right you can see that uh, that end of the log that uh, you know different structure uh, there which is like the cutoff uh, stump bit uh, you can see that on all the spruce trees I don't cover that part usually but on the oak I covered all the the bits that you can see like that um, and just changing something as simple as that. You see how bad this is. It's really upsetting. I would have had to cut this part, but you can see how important this uh, tree is to the whole idea, and it makes this thing like 15 minutes. There was like literally seven minutes I cut. That was just that. I don't know what was so bad this time. Hopefully I can fix that. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. But yeah, it's coming out, but you can see a lot of the logs are showing. That's a good, uh, that's good. Um, it's not just a bush, like a cloud of, of leaves. Um, and that looks nice. I'm really proud of this tree. Um, I used to not be good at trees, but you know, practice and just a lot of time makes it work. Um, and I added puzzle uh, on the ground because these are spruce, uh, not spruce. These are no, they are spruce, which is what puzzle is for, right? It's the droppings of the spruce trees, which is why they're in the large spruce forest. I swear this is the last one. I swear it. It's very upsetting. No idea how upset I am. But yeah, here you can see the framing. It's very well framed, uh, this building. Um, but yeah, puzzle. The river looks nice, I'm proud of it. Um, I started adding, you know, more f flora and fauna. Not flora, I removed the flora, but the fauna on the ground there, double tall. Um, and there I put a fallen spruce tree which, as you can see here, finished, because it was all glitchy, uh, finished here. And um, that's this episode. It's a bit shorter because of the glitches. Um, and I'm wanting to make it a bit shorter just for you guys. 30 minutes is a bit long. But, but here it is. I put reeds uh, by, the, by the river. And uh, I finished the fallen spruce, which looks really nice. It's also going to serve as a pathway. 
uh, which will hopefully come into this game as a cool little path, secret hidden sort of path here. Um, but here you can see the, the oak, real nice framed, framing the library perfectly. Uh, the river looks really nice, really scenic. There's one more glitch here that looks bad. But thanks you for watching. Um, in the next episode, we are going to be doing the interior, so I hope to see you there. Uh, please comment. Um, hopefully I can fix this. Uh, I should by the next episode, I swear. <laughs> um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that. You know, it does help. Mostly the criticism helps. Um, you don't need to criticize me about this, of course, because I'm fully aware. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Come again.